Hi, I'm Nixie, and today I'm going to be unboxing this Barbie BMR 1959 doll and looking at some Etsy clothes that I've recently bought. Now, as you might be able to see, unfortunately, my box did come a little bit damaged, which I am quite disappointed about because I do like these boxes and I keep them and store my Barbies in them. So, yeah, a little bit disappointing, but it was from Amazon, you get what you get. I particularly love these boxes because of the artwork on the front. I just think that's a really nice touch. And also it's just nice that there's no plastic. You just open up, got the tissue paper and your doll is inside. The only plastic packaging is just some little bits to secure the doll to the box, but it's quite minimal. So like I said, it's really nice, the reduced plastic. So here she is out of the box. Now she does come with the BMR 1959 doll stand and also the black label certificate of authenticity. So this doll has brown eyes and blue eyeshadow. She's got quite a deep red lipstick and little beauty mark there. Her hair consists of brown and blonde plaits. Unfortunately, there are a couple of strands that are a little bit messy. She has painted edges. Her earrings are silver and they are removable. She's wearing a yellow crop top that has netted sleeves. It says BMR 1959 on the front and is velcroed in the back. Underneath she wears this one piece bodysuit. It does have clear plastic straps and it doesn't have any velcro. She has this BMR 1959 blue waist bag which is quite loose on her. She has rings on each side so this one says again BMR 1959. These ones are a bit more abstract, I'm not 100% sure what they're meant to be. Unfortunately, these are all holes through her hands, which I'm not really a fan of. It does mean they're removable, but still, you've now got a big old hole in your doll's hand. She also has blue nail varnish. Then on her feet, she has these fluorescent pink trainers. Like with other BMR 1959 dolls, she is on a made move body, and she is a standard Barbie. So the made move just means she's got articulation at the head, at the shoulder, at the upper arm, at the elbow for a double joint, at the wrist, at the chest, at the hip, at the upper leg, at the knee, again a double joint, and then at the ankle. Well, I've got her here, I think she would be the ideal candidate to try on the clothes I bought from Etsy. So first up, I've got these from Zozy Barbie Kendall. Now, I have bought from this seller before and I really like the items, so I decided to go back and buy some more. First up, we've just got a simple black top and a pair of pants. And here she is wearing them. Now, this seller does two different kinds of vest tops. This one is the lower cut one, and I do have in pink one of the higher cut ones. So you'll get to see that in a minute. But like I said, it's quite nice, simple, and I just wanted a pair of pants in case, well, in case you ever need a pair of pants, because I don't really like the Barbie's skin-coloured, moulded-on ones. I think I'd rather have something a little bit more material. And here she is in that pink top, as you can see, is that higher neck and a pair of matching pink shorts. Now I should have said the tops do all velcro, but the bottoms they just pull up, they don't have velcro because they're quite stretchy material. And then just by way of some options, I've got a pair of pink jogging bottoms. So they've got a little black tie, it doesn't like do anything, it's just at the front. But they're a nice length, they sort of go all the way down, so I'm pleased with those. And then I also got these pink leggings. So I've got a little black um, waistband. Again, go nicely down to the ankle. So just, like I said, just some nice sort of pink matching items. So this is what I quite like about the seller. You've got a lot of sort of basics, you know, tops, trousers, leggings, that sort of thing, in sort of various colours you can pick. You know, get little matching outfits. Just think it's really nice. And then to not entirely leave my Kens out, I did get this blue hoodie. So it does have a real pocket in the front. It's got little drawstrings and they do work. It is velcroed entirely at the back, which actually makes it really easy to get on and off. The hood fits nicely over his head. Just take it down, get your hair out. Yeah, I just think I do have like more of these. I did buy them last time, but they're a really nice style. So I decided I wanted to get more. I also did really like the packaging from that seller, like in one of the poly bags, you've got this cute little postcard. 
and like they've got their own branded paper that the items came in. They're just nice little details. So the next seller was someone on Etsy called Nova Genera and this top they actually threw in with my order which is nice because I mainly bought leggings. So this first pair of leggings it's sort of this mottled blue, it's got black waistband and they're sort of three quarter length but I just thought they looked really nice and I do quite like those. The next pair of leggings was just plain white. They are quite tight so you can see sort of the dolls like Posability, let's say. So that's where they move at the legs and you can sort of see the hips there. They're also touch see through, not too bad. So I don't think you'd notice, and I don't think in camera it notices. You can just see a little bit in real. But I think as long as you've got something that's maybe going to cover that line there, they look quite nice. The next pair I got was this pair of jeggings. So they're sort of a denimish stretch material. Got a lot of sort of yellow stitch detail, which is quite nice. They maybe just like, I would have liked them if they went just to the ankle, just slightly above. So I think that will make my choice of shoes. Like, I don't want them to be like too low, just because, yeah, I'd prefer it just there. But at least I do like them. I think they're quite good as jeggings. Now, this last pair I bought, they weren't technically for Barbie. I don't know if it was maybe Blythe dolls or something. So the fit isn't exactly for Barbie. I just really like the stripey things. So they're quite high up. You'd probably want a lower top so it wasn't looking that high-waisted. But otherwise, the fit's actually not too bad, if I'm honest. And they're very sort of stretchy and baggy, so you could probably get them to fit, like, maybe a tall doll or a curvy Barbie. Actually, let's just try it on a curvy Barbie. Actually, I think they do work all right on a curvy Barbie. I mean, you could tell they are a little bit stretched, but not bad. And just sticking with my curvy Barbie, for the last item I got from the store was this really pretty dress. So it's three colours, obviously light blue, lime green, and it's a sort of pinkish red. And I just thought it looked really nice. So the sort of Barbie in the photo was curvy that had this on, and I mean, I always like having clothes that will fit curvies as well. It's nice to have the option. So yeah, I just thought this really pretty. So all of the items from the store were made of like this stretchy material. So no Velcro on the back, everything just pulls up. So yeah, some nice bits from that seller. Like I said, got some nice leggings and I really like this dress. Now my final item, and it is just one item from this seller. It's M Creations Paris. Um, now, they are a slightly higher price point than the other two that I bought from and especially when you add shipping onto that but I really love all their dresses and I've been wanting to get something from them for ages so I finally thought, you know what, I'm going to order something. So this is what I got. And here it is on the doll. I absolutely love this dress, it's so cool. So as you can see, we've just got on one side this big puff sleeve. It's in sort of a pink, white and sort of a mauve lilac pattern. The back fastening are two poppers. The dress does have a slit at the front. Interestingly, um, the seams, most of them don't have any stitching, so I'm guessing they must use like hemming tape, which I hadn't really considered before, but that's quite a good way to get out of doing stitching. I might try that because yeah, it's slow progress me learning to make doll clothes, and if you can get away with not stitching and still have something that looks this good, I'm all for that. But yes, I do really like this dress, and when my funds allow, I probably will be buying from this seller again. In fact, I did actually like all of my Etsy sellers today, so, I mean, the first one I had already it was the second time I've bought from them. So yeah, I'm all for buying from all three of these again. My new doll, I mean, I like the BMR 1959 range. I was a little bit disappointed that she's got those holes in her hand. I hadn't realised that, so that's less great. Especially if you, I mean, not that I'm gonna like use her for rebodying, like, but it does make it a bit limiting if you did want to use that made-to-move body for a different head. You've also got to be aware that it's got holes in it. But anyway, thank you very much for joining me as I unboxed my new doll and looked at my new Etsy doll clothes. Always love getting clothes from Etsy, there's some great sellers on there. Please do let me know which item of clothing was your favourite. 
And if you like this video, please do hit thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, do subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!